We've come to it again. It's that time for another haul. So sit back, get your cup of tea, get your shopping list ready because it's about to go down. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. What's good? How are we all doing today? So of course, like I was just saying, it's time for another haul, but this one is a little bit of a a different one to what we usually do. So I know you guys like to see my hauls, which thank you so much, that is the biggest compliment ever because it means you like my fashion taste, I guess. I mentioned this on my Instagram a couple of days ago, but I actually posted on my story for you guys to send me your PLT favorites and things that you're thinking about buying or anything like that, I guess. And uh, your guys' fashion sense, I was not ready for it. You guys smashed it. Obviously, I couldn't get everything, but maybe do a part two if we like this one. But honestly, I was shook. You guys saw things that I've never seen on the website before. How? How? Putting outfits together, and I was just like... <coughs> Girl's got a big pile of clothes. I'd say it's more of a mountain, so I guess we'll just jump in. Okay. <laughs> the one item of clothing I got the scent the most, I bet you can all guess. Pause this video, comment down below. Whoever gets it right, I'll comment back. What item of clothing did I get sent the most? Pause it right here. It was coats. I was so ready for that. I needed a new coat. Actually, I needed four. No, was it three or four? I think it's four. <sighs> Apparently, I needed a bunch of new coats anyway. So... We'll start off with the coats. I might do two coats at the beginning, two coats at the end, kind of break it up a little bit. Okay, so we'll start off with my personal favourite. I feel like I've been on the hope for the... Hope? <laughs> what? I've been on the hunt for this kind of coat for ages. I feel like I've tried a couple, but some of them are too thin. Some of them just look... I'm not keen. This one is perfect. This one is everything I've been looking for. So, it's just a black bomber jacket, but this one is kind of, I would say it's a combination of like a bomber jacket and like a puffer coat because it's so puffy and heavy and it's like a heavy duty coat, which I was looking for. It's getting cold, people. It's, I swear it's about to snow. So I needed a really heavy duty kind of bomber jacket, I guess. And this one definitely is that. So it just looks like this. It's kind of that material. I don't know what it's called, but I feel like from the sound of it, you'll know what it feels like, if that makes any sense. So it's just got two pockets on like the boob area, which I love. Two pockets down here as well, which are so deep is, is that the right word like I feel like you could get a lot in them and I use pockets a lot so that's always handy just to zip up the front and it's got these little pockets on each sleeve as well which I thought was a really nice detail and obviously a cuffed sleeve this would look so cool with an all black outfit or like really casual kind of sweats anything like that with jeans or yeah I guess this will go with a bunch of different things and what I love about this is the style and the fit it's not cropped or anything like that which I didn't want it to be it's just beautiful and it looks so expensive it looks designer which you know bougie on a budget I'm all about I'm really excited to wear this and I never saw this on the website and if I did I must have scrolled past it and just not give it a second chance but I love this so thank you to my angel who picked this out I'm not going to mention names because I don't know whether these people will want the names mentioned, but if you see an item of clothing that you picked out, make sure you comment down below and let me know. The next coat, okay, is something that I have seen but never really thought anything of it and my angel sent me this and said to wear it as a dress. You guys are stylish, I was not ready, okay. <laughs> so it's this beautiful kind of corduroy jacket. This colour is to die for. It's like a brownie camely colour. What colour did it say? I took the label off. I think it did say like a camel and this is so winter appropriate for me for like a night out. I'm thinking this with some nude heels. Yes please. So it's kind of that utility style which you all know that I love. It's got the pockets, buttons all the way down and what I love is this on the waist so you can snatch your waist in. It's got like a little like drawstring and you know I love a snatched waist. Thank you so much. Just makes it that little bit more flattering which obviously I love and yeah just goes down at the bottom like I said. Buttons all the way down and got two little pockets on the leg as well. I love that I'll be able to wear this in loads of different ways. I would wear this casually with jeans and a roll neck and trainers or even with just trainers and then for a night out with heels and a roll neck underneath it 
there's so much you can do with this and it's such a cute coat as well I feel like this will take you into spring a little bit because I won't lie it's quite thin but it's not it's not a thin material or anything like that obviously it's quite thick with it being corduroy and everything is that even the right word corduroy I think it is who knows but because it is quite a light jacket this will be really perfect in spring as well so I'm in love with this and I'm so excited to wear it even with a pair of thigh highs <gasps> I think that's what the model had on actually which can we just talk about her wow I'm going to insert a picture because she is I can't pretty little things models are just unreal aren't they I can't cope I come off the website kind of upset <laughs> so thank you to my angel that chose this and thank you for all the styling tips as well you are the plug I am in love with you thank you so much <laughs> okay so we'll move away from the coats for a little bit because I feel like you guys are going to be bored of seeing what coats I have so we'll move on actually I'll move on with this this is a really cute piece so someone actually chose out this scarf for me and in Manchester at the minute, I don't know whether this is all over the UK, but in Manchester at the minute, we are awaiting the snow. I'm not ready for the snow. I own one scarf and it's like brown and black. So if I'm wearing something a little bit lighter, like a cream coat or a white coat or anything like that, I don't have a scarf to go with it. So now I do. I love this. So it's just a plain cream scarf, I guess, with tassels on the end. And this is just beautiful. The material of this is really soft and thick and I'm thinking... Oh. oh wow it just looks really cozy and it looks beautiful as well I'm really funny about scarves because I don't know I just I'm not a big fan to be honest but this one because it's so plain and the material and everything I think it's really beautiful and you can obviously wear this with a bunch of different colors and everything like that as well so this is definitely a staple for me I would say this is a staple because like I said you can wear it with a bunch of different things and everyone needs a really thick warm scarf I would have never looked on PLT's scarves or like accessories like that. If I'm looking at accessories on PLT, it's either bags or necklaces, but I would have never looked at things like this. So thank you for opening my eyes to looking at the hats and scarves and things like that because I'm in love. Thank you. So one of my angels sent this beautiful knit jumper over. It's kind of that stone colour. It's high neck, which I love. I have been in love with high necks, turtlenecks, roll necks. I'll take them all <laughs> but this one's gorgeous it's really long line as well so it kind of comes past your bum extra warmth we love that and it's got these little slits as well which are really flattering the knit's really soft and thick as well I've bought knits recently not off pretty little thing but I bought a knit recently and the knit was so kind of like spread apart that you could genuinely see my nipple what is that about? I don't want that. So I love that this is really nice and thick. I'm pretty sure Hannah has this. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. And I think I will get a bunch of uses out of this as well with a pair of light wash denim jeans, Balenciaga trainers, or I would even wear this with joggers to be honest nice pair of like grey joggers I love neutrals and greys at the minute together I think they look really beautiful so yeah I mean it's just a really simple plain jumper but this to me is a winter staple one it'll keep you warm two it'll look really cool and three it's comfortable it's comfortable so the next piece is a little bit of a basic a really simple staple piece simple staple piece that's what we'll say. But this angel in particular, thank you so much. She was saying that she's really loved this kind of style at the minute and she's loved kind of pairing these. I'm just going to show you what it is because then you'll understand. So it's just a black roll neck, but she's loved seeing these paired with sweaters and seeing these underneath other pieces if that makes sense so like under coats or under sweaters or anything like that so I picked one up this one is just a is this a bodysuit no it's just a normal kind of top I mean you can style this on its own with a pair of jeans and a coat or you can even style this like she was saying under a sweater you can layer these and they look so freaking good like I was saying I'm obsessed with roll necks turtlenecks high necks so yeah I'm not going to spend too long on this one because it is just a really simple kind of slinky it's like that slinky material high neck top I guess but like I was saying you can do a bunch of different things with this and they are such a winter staple for me so thank you to my angel who sent me this I love you speaking of the high necks my angels knew I got sent this three times so my angels knew that I am obsessed with these jumpers at the minute how many times have I said obsessed in this video but my angels knew that I love these jumpers I have them in two different colors I've got one in gray and one in like a beigey kind of sand color and I've actually already worn this so it's got makeup on it 
of course it has. But my angel sent me one in white and I didn't realise how much I needed this until they sent it and I was like, yeah, I kind of need that, don't I? I've worn, I've worn it twice already and I've had this a couple of days. I'm obsessed with this jumper. This is my favourite one out of all three. This is my favourite one. I don't know why I never thought to get this one, but... This is my new favourite jumper now. I'm completely and utterly obsessed with it. I think the style of it is so beautiful. It's like a white jumper, high neck of course, and it's got this beautiful black zip, which also matches the one on the sleeve, which I thought was a really nice little touch. And then it's also just got cuffed sleeves as well. And I love this bottom because you can crop it to however much you want to crop it if that makes sense and yeah this jumper is one of my favourites. I wear these pretty much all the time, I wore the grey one to the gym, I wore this one with a blazer over the top which I've actually got a blazer which I think would go so beautifully with this but I've worn these in a bunch of different ways, you can wear them smarter or you can wear them really casually as well and the one thing that is incredible about this jumper is that it's so soft on the inside. This is hands down my most worn piece in winter this year and last year. Wait, just this winter, this has been my most worn piece. <laughs> okay, so this is the blazer, oh wow, that was rude. This is the blazer I was talking about, which I've just realized has blue running through it, which I love. So it's just this black and white checkered blazer, and it has this blue bit running through. How gorgeous is that? That will go so well with denim. Yes! So it's a long line blazer with these little tortoise shell buttons, which is a really nice little touch. I've been obsessed with blazers at the minute. I feel like I've not got enough. I need more. I've been wearing these with hoodies underneath them, with jumpers, roll necks. I've even been wearing these as dresses as well. Because it is long line, you can wear this as a dress. Just put a little belt on because I don't think the buttons actually do up. Oh yeah, they do. Yeah, the buttons do do up. So you could wear this as a little dress. But I would probably just put a belt on for that extra security, you know. I feel like blazers make outfits really cool and sophisticated. You could genuinely be wearing a hood and jeans pop this over the top and you look sick yeah this looks expensive I would expect to see this in like Zara or somewhere like that I'm really in love with it so thank you for that okay so where are we going next okay speaking of hoodies speaking of hoodies this one you are gonna die this one is so gorgeous so like I was saying before I'm obsessed with pretty little things sweats with pretty little thing basics staples they are so warm and cozy and they always fit so beautifully so this is like the plain black hoodie that pretty little thing already do but which is by the way one of my most worn items I'm obsessed but this one has a beautiful little print on it so it's got this kind of embroidered rose how stunning is this I can't this is so gorgeous I mean that looks so expensive I don't know I don't know whether you can see that it just makes it look so expensive I would expect this to be hanging in Selfridges to be honest I can imagine that hanging in Selfridges. But yeah, it just gives it a little bit of an extra feature. Obviously, it's got a pocket and everything like that. It is just the plain black hoodie, but with this on it, I guess. I think this will look really beautiful with jeans or joggers, anything like that. Because of the print on it as well, you could probably wear this out to dinner with, like, heels. <gasps> you could get it oversized. You could get it in a large and wear it with black lace-up heels. Ooh. What size did I get this in? So I got this in a size small and already it's quite oversized. So if I got that in a large, I think I could wear that as a dress and I genuinely would. Okay, so what have we got next? Ooh, we have some trousers. Okay, so this is definitely not something I would usually pick up. I don't think I own anything like this in my wardrobe. But I picked up these high-waisted long, la long line? No, high-waisted wide leg there we go wide leg trousers and they're in this kind of what color is this is this brown or beige it's like an in-between of a brown and beige it's too light to be brown too dark to be beige but it's in this beautiful color anyway and it's got these little tortoise shell buttons obviously really wide legged which i always think wide legs look so flattering they always make your waist look even smaller in fact i got mine in a size four because i've got a really little waist so because they were wide legged i thought i could get away with it and they fit perfectly which is always a bonus but yeah, I'm so excited to wear these. I definitely was thinking more dressed up. So maybe a t-shirt and some heels, like a t-shirt tucked in. But I've also thought, 
Balenciagas are chunky trainers will look really cool with these as well I'm obsessed with wide leg trousers and chunky trainers I think it looks so cool so yeah a white t-shirt tucked in white chunky trainers and a coat yes please I've got a t-shirt actually down here which I'm going to show you next which I think would look really beautiful tucked in with a pair of heels like nude heels or white heels or no I'd probably say nude heels actually but for a night out or for dinner or drinks that would be a really cool outfit and if you don't want your legs on show, if you've not faked hand or anything like that, these will be perfect for it. So I'm excited to style these actually. I feel like these are a little bit out of my comfort zone but that's what life's about, you know, coming a little bit out of your comfort zone. <laughs> that's why I wanted to do this video as well because you guys were sending me things that were completely out of my comfort zone and obviously I've not gone completely out of my comfort zone with everything. Some things... I would usually pick up but like these I would have never picked these up so thank you for getting me out of my comfort zone <laughs> this is the t-shirt I was telling you about and I think this is so cute not in the slightest bit appropriate because I've I'm queen of no one's heart but it just says queen of your heart and it's got these little cherubs on it with a little heart and I think it's really cute because it looks really old school so it's just a plain white t-shirt I will say as well the white is not see-through at all I'm always scared of buying white online because sometimes it can come and be quite see-through but this is not see-through at all the material is quite thick and it's really soft as well I love these t-shirts on Pretty Little Thing they've got so many different prints and things like that but this one I loved and like I was saying before I would have never picked this up. The girl who sent me this said she sent it because she thought there was little angels and I always say angels so I think that's really cute. Oh, thank you for sending this over. I'm excited to try these two together. I might try them together on the try on clip. What are we saying? Okay, so we're nearly at the end. We've got two more coats and then I'll let you get going, okay? You're probably nearly finishing your tea by now so. <laughs> One of the things that I've seen on the website before never thought to pick it up but now I've got it this is probably one of my favorite coats ever okay so this coat is kind of a play on a simple trench coat but what I love about it is it's super long line this pretty much comes to my ankles I won't lie I think it's like just above my ankles so if you're petite maybe don't get this if you're five foot five and under I'm five foot six and it just comes to my ankles so any smaller and it'll be dragging on the floor if my mum wore this my mum's like five foot nothing in fact she's like five foot two if my mum wore this it would drown her and she'd be wearing a little train so I'm just saying but it's this beautiful colour I think they do do a petite section by the way so I'm just putting that out there but it's this beautiful colour I'm obsessed with it and I think this looks like I was saying really bougie and this will definitely make the outfit I was saying before that I love coats because I feel like at the minute that's all you're seeing in an outfit if you're out and about and stuff you're obviously going to be wearing a coat because it's freaking freezing so coats just make the outfit at the minute which is why I have so many beautiful ones and this is going into my collection which I love so thank you so much whoever sent this over so yeah that is the third coat <laughs> in fact I think the last one's downstairs because I wore it before so hold on one minute okay so last but not least I thought I left this at the gym I didn't thank you so much but I didn't realize how much I needed this until I had it okay I've worn it like pretty much every single day since I've bought it and I'm obsessed so it's this black long line fur jacket and this to me is the perfect fur coat I said jacket then coat it's the perfect fur coat because it's the perfect length it's not too long it's not too short it's kind of calf length I would say it's the perfect thickness it's not too bulky where it's going to make you look really unflattering and the fur on this is so unbelievably soft it's a joke I love the button on it as well because it kind of pulls you in at the waist this is just beautiful I don't actually have a black fur coat which is kind of annoying because sometimes if you want to wear all black you have to go with like a brown fur coat if you want to wear fur and it's kind of faux fur I'm gonna just put that out there but it's kind of annoying so I'm so happy with this coat this is up there with my top three favorite coats I couldn't choose one but it's up there with my top three favorites such a staple you can wear this in so many different ways it's a joke you can wear this during the day you can wear it during the evening it look really classy but it can also look really edgy as well with sweats or I would genuinely wear this with black joggers black hoodie trainers this over the top and it just instantly makes it look so cool so this to me is definitely 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 a staple it is a little bit more on the it's not it's not expensive 
I'm not gonna lie, is £70, which is not expensive for a fur coat, but for PLT, it is a little bit more on the expensive side, shall we say. If you wanna splurge on it, then I would 110% recommend. That's what you guys chose out for me. Obviously, I couldn't buy everything, but I bought the bits that I loved and the bits that were a little bit out of my comfort zone, so thank you to everyone who sent those over, and thank you to everyone who just sent things over in general. I love you all so much, and I loved everything. You guys have the best style ever. I was not ready. So if you want to see another one of these videos, then make sure to give it a massive thumbs up. And if you're new here as well, I do a giveaway, which I'm going to be announcing on Monday or Tuesday. No, Tuesday or Wednesday, sorry. So if you want to enter, then make sure you subscribe to my channel, turn on that notification bell, follow me on Instagram. Then once you've done all of that, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below, hashtag babes of mats. Oh. That was on cue. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Mwah! Well, I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Mm -hmm. Love you.